Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about backtesting terminology. So this can be really helpful whenever you're looking to purchase a script or whenever you're backtesting your own script. And a lot of this information can be useful on pretty much any backtesting software that you use uh, for any sort of financial markets, whether that be Forex, cryptocurrency, or anything else out there you can still probably use this terminology. Now in this specific example that I'm going to be explaining everything through, this is a backtest generated on MT4 or MetaTrader 4, which is a software that a lot of Forex and stock market traders use. So that is what this example will be for, but I will also show you guys where to find the same information on TradingView as I do know a lot of people use that too. So. Today we are going to be defining the total net profit, the profit factor, the percent profitable, the average trade net profit, and the maximum drawdown. So those are pretty much the most important things you guys need to be looking at when looking through back tests on certain scripts or automated trading software. So now let's get into what each of them mean and sort of where you can generally find them on most back tests. So the first one is the total net profit. So the total net profit you can find on MetaTrader 4 right here where it displays the total net profit that the bot has made from the backtest. All this is is taking the gross profit and subtracting the gross loss in order to get the total net profit. So you can see the gross profit right here, the gross loss right here, and then this is the total net profit, meaning the profit minus the loss and that is the net profit. So that's pretty basic. That's just to make sure to see how much profit you would have made over that certain period of time uh, in US dollar value. And that is generally really pretty important though to see if you really are making enough profit to your liking, depending on how long your time frame is. Next is the profit factor. The profit factor is actually a very, very important setting because the profit factor is the gross profit divided by the gross loss. So what they're doing is they're dividing the total profit amount by the total amount of losses that the script gained over your backtested period. So it can really display the amount of risk involved with your script which can be really helpful because you want to make sure that the amount of profit that you're making is you know, substantially higher than the number of losses in your profit factor to make sure that most of the time you're going to be making profits instead of losses. So really you wanna to try to maximize this number, although technically anything over one for a profit factor does end up in profits, uh, but you know anything like two or three or anything higher than that is really a great number. So you just wanna keep the profit factor as high as possible while maintaining good positive settings on everything else. Next is the percent profitable. So these are the percentage of your total trades that are profitable. This is pretty similar to the profit factor, although it's just based on the number of trades and not actually how much profit you are making. So I wouldn't really consider this too important compared to the other ones because even if you're making 30% profitable trades, but your profit factor is still super, super high, like maybe two or three or four, and you're still making a lot of net profit, then the percent profitable trades don't really matter. But if you are using a script to predict accurate highs and lows on long-term trends, then you'd probably wanna keep the percent profitable of the total trades as high as possible uh, if that is your goal with your script. Next is the average trade net profit. So the average trade net profit is the total net profit divided by the number of trades. So this is pretty much a good way to find out how much you can expect your system to make per trade. Although do beware that on back tests, it does take the total average profit of all trades, meaning if your profits do compound over time, it may look a little different than you could expect. For example, here, the average profit per trade was $3,881 although it is a variable lot amount, meaning that your trading limit does increase over time, but basically meaning that $3,881 
uh, with an initial deposit of $1,000 might not make too much sense, but over time, as your $1,000 does turn into you know something like $10,000, a three or $4,000 profit per trade doesn't sound too crazy. And so if you are doing longer term back tests, your average profit per trade uh, could look a little bit different, but this is sort of helpful to sort of expect how much you can be making per day or per trade with your bot in the future after a certain amount of time. Next, I would actually say this is probably the most important one, and this is your maximum drawdown. So what your maximum drawdown is, is the amount, the greatest single loss that the bot made within your backtesting period. So this is almost like a reality check for most bots, because this is saying, in a single trade, you can lose this percentage of your complete portfolio in a single trade. So this is really, really helpful if you're trading with a large amount of money. You want to be making sure that if you lose 4% on one trade, you're not going to be freaked out. That if you have you know, something like a million dollars, if you if you lose 4% of it on one trade, you have to make sure that you'll be able to cash out without you know taking too heavy of losses that you can't sustain. Or that you are confident that you will that your system will be able to make it back um, relatively fast uh, compared to what your maximum drawdown is. So this is extremely important uh, for risk, but also bear in mind that maximum drawdown is only calculated within your back tested period. Meaning that in the future, if there is maybe a different situation that happens in the market, you could even have a higher drawdown than that. But normally it can be a pretty good number to look at uh, for the long term, depending on how long term your backtest is. Now, you may also see that there are two other drawdown numbers here that I have not mentioned. Now, I will explain what these are. The relative drawdown is the drawdown after a trade has gone through profit. So basically, if your trade goes up to 30% profit, but then drops back down to 10% profit, and then the bot decides to sell, that is a relative loss of 20%. So pretty much, it's not necessarily an actual loss, it's just how much the bot could have profited or how much the bot was in profit, but then sold for a loss. This isn't too important, it's not nearly as important as the maximum drawdown, which is you know how much your entire portfolio can go down in value, uh, but it's still a pretty interesting number to see. And then your absolute drawdown is just the drawdown compared to your initial balance. So the lowest amount that it got below your initial balance. So for here, for example, if the initial deposit was $1,000, then it only went $5.63 below that $1,000 initial deposit. So that can be helpful if you're just looking to see um, you know, wh what your balance is going to look like when you first start the bot and how you can sort of expect your balance to grow over time. Anyways, guys, hopefully that is a good overview of back tests for MetaTrader 4. These are pretty much all the most important values that you will see on a back test. A lot of this other stuff is really self-explanatory, like long positions one, lost trades, consecutive losses. Um, all of those, you don't really need too much explaining to get an understanding of what it does. Um, but now I will show you guys where to find all this information on TradingView if you do decide to do so. So on TradingView, whenever you do back tests, it will normally look something like this. And once again, it's all very, very similar. You will see your net profit right here, your total closed trades right here, your percent profitability, and your profit factor along with your max drawdown. So obviously, TradingView doesn't give you as many stats as MetaTrader 4 will when it comes to backtests, so that's why I wanted to show MetaTrader 4 in the example, but it is still helpful to know that you still do have a good amount of the information here, along with a visualized chart of the growth similar to MetaTrader 4. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you have learned a little bit about backtesting automated trading scripts uh, for pretty much any market you do decide to trade on. 
As I did explain in my previous video, I am trying to transition this channel a little bit more into Forex and uh, stock market automated trading as I do think that is a much more sustainable way of making profit. So if you guys are still wondering about that, make sure you guys check out my previous video. But anyways guys, see you in the next one.